Here I have my witch. And what I'd really like to do is see how tall she is. So uh, the thing I'm going to use to measure the, the height of this witch is my ruler. Now this one here measures to the nearest uh, millimetre, so that's what the scale on this uh, left hand side is. And effectively there are two sources of error. What we have is an uncertainty at the start of uh, the measuring. Uh, and this is going to be an uncertainty of 0.5 of a millimetre. There's also going to be an uncertainty at the top, you know, what height do we actually take? And therefore, at the top, there's also going to be an uncertainty of 0.5 of a millimetre. And what that means is our total uncertainty in the measurement of the height of this witch is going to be equal to plus or minus one millimetre. Now, this is what we call the absolute uncertainty. And the absolute uncertainty is the uncertainty in the distance or the, the quantity that we are measuring. But there are things that we can do to maybe decrease the absolute uncertainty. Perhaps we can use maybe a different uh, measuring device. Here I have a digital caliper and uh, what we can do is we can use this maybe to measure perhaps the diameter of uh, the broomstick. Now if you use a 30 centimetre ruler uh, which measures to the nearest one millimetre then we're going to have a fairly large absolute uncertainty for quite a small distance. If I use this caliper on the other hand, what I can do is I can close that very gently uh, and this gives us a value of 3.30 millimetres. Now what that means is because we have a digital scale over here, uh, the actual uncertainty is going to be a lot less. And the absolute uncertainty with this uh, instrument is going to be plus or minus 0.01 of a millimetre. Now we can't use this for everything, if we have long distances this doesn't work. But what we have are different amounts of absolute uncertainty. When it comes to things which are digital, uh, perhaps also maybe like uh, this multimeter here, if we maybe set the scale to read up to 20 volts, what we have is, uh, we can see it goes 0, 0.00. Now for this, when it's on the scale of up to 20 volts, the absolute uncertainty is going to be plus or minus 0 0.01 of a volt. Maybe when we change it up to uh, a scale of up to 600 volts, suddenly that uh, decimal point shifts along and now we have an absolute uncertainty of one volt. So this is the absolute uncertainty in our measured quantity. Now, a final thing to note is when it comes to recording time, it isn't actually plus or minus 0 0.01 of a second. When it comes to time, and this is our special case, um, because we have our human reaction time, the absolute uncertainty in time is about 0.2 uh, up to sort of 0 0.5 of a second. Now, although we might have a, a high resolution on the measuring instrument, uh, the fact that we are humans and we do have this uh, sort of time delay does mean that the absolute uncertainty in measuring time uh, is limited to about plus or minus 0 0.2 of a second.